Insecurity within the city of Nairobi is increasing day by day, a danger that is facing many Kenyans who dwell in the city. As the country approaches the August 9th general election, weapons are increasingly found in the hands of criminals who are using them to terrorize homes and businesses. Ongata, Rongai and Kawangwari have been identified as the hideouts for the most criminal gangs who operate in Nairobi and neighboring Rongai in Kajiado County. Even before the Adams Arcade dust settles, a police officer is in a critical condition after he was attacked by an assailant in Central Business District while on patrol. The suspect, identified as Martin Waitima, was arraigned in court and accused of assaulting a police officer. Contrary to Section 103A of the National Police Service Act 2011, According to court documents, the National Police Service said in a statement that the suspect was apprehended with the help of members of the public and other police officers who were driving past the scene of the incident. And as security analyst George Msamali explains, the gang issue is worrying. The opportunity to commit crime is there and punishment is rarely there. And we are pushing the blame to the police because our mode of policing is reactive. We are not having a strategy where we need to be proactive in preventing crime. And this is why now you'll find so many youth believe that we can get into crime and then go unpunished. The detectives too have unmatched a suspect who allegedly shot and killed a man and a woman at Adam's Arcade Market in Nairobi. The suspect face was captured on the CCTV footage as he terrorized a woman during a robbery incident that happened on Saturday. Police suspect the man is one of the thugs that have been targeting M-Pesa shops in Nairobi and its environs. Those killed have been identified as 53-years-old Sophia Gadoni Maina and 50-year-old Paul Gidenji Gitao. Gadoni was shot at her shop while Gedhenji was hit outside as he responded to screams from the woman. Gadoni succumbed to her injuries on Tuesday, three days after the incident, while Gedhenji died on the spot. In the CCTV footage, the man is seen attacking Gadoni, who tried to defend herself in vain. And there's a huge proliferation of small weapons getting into Kenya. So it's very easy for the youth to acquire a firearm and then end up using these firearms in committing crime, like the one we witnessed in Ongata Rungai and then the Adam Arcade incidents, which is very unfortunate where lives are being lost, yet only police are only coming in to react. We need to come up with a proper strategy, not tactic, in dealing with the youth uh, in crime. Delinquency, youth delinquency is on the rise, and this is something that needs to be addressed now, immediately. Police have released the identities of three suspected robbers who were arrested on suspicion of taking part in a Sunday morning incident where a woman was robbed at gunpoint at her home in Kandisi in Ongatarongai, Kajiado County. By Wednesday evening, four suspects had been arrested with detectives looking for two more, including the mastermind who is believed to be a rogue police officer. Among those arrested were 24-year-old Robert Kimani Irongo from Kware in Ongatarongai. Kimani was found in possession of a Browning pistol, serial number B43659, without a magazine. His alleged accomplices also in custody were Jane Achieng Ocheng from Kibra and John Ocheng Oranja from Bombolulu, Kibera. Both suspects are 21 years old. The solution for this is not punishment. Issue of saying that we are going to arrest this youth, arrange them in court, if that is not a deterrent measure, we should look at the root cause of all this and try to address that. And especially, the answer comes from uh, economic empowerment of this youth. Opening space for the youth, either to do business, legitimate business, opening youth a space for the youth to get gainfully employed and, and, and a monthly salary so that they can take care of themselves. And if we don't do that, then we have a, a ticking time bomb that when it's going to explode, it's going to consume the whole of this country. Employment for the youth are shrinking. So for the youth, you need to elect a leadership that is going to make sure that we have equal opportunity for all of us to make a leadership that will have good policies that will attract investment and leadership with good policies that will allow youth now to exploit their potential 
get into business and be able to make ends meet. Insecurity is rocking the city and the neighboring county of Kajiado at a time when security is of importance considering that the country is headed for a general election. Kaindo Stefano, Ebru TV.